And we're live. Hey, everyone. Everybody hear us okay? Okay, good. Yay! <laughs> we were monkeying around the microphone yesterday and I wasn't sure if it was going to work. Okay, guys. Sorry we weren't here last week. I had a very stuffed up head and I was really thrown off my balance. I just did not feel well. Here's your cat. Go get it. So I'm glad I'm feeling better too. So last week, I'm going to show last week's paintings while Alan's. Two weeks. Two weeks ago while Alan's playing around. You did that. I haven't put the second coat on it yet. What was this, Al? <laughs> that was a three-cup flip cup. Oh, I need to bring the camera this way. Push it forward. Okay, that's got to come down. Sorry, guys. We're all off whack here today. So here's Alan's first one. No, that was my second one. Second one, sorry. Three cups, right? Yep. That was his three cup pour. Love the colors. Actually, that would really look pretty with resin on it because it would bring out all the stuff that's hidden down below. This was my, my well, my first one was the uh, resin coating. So this is my other painting, and I'm so upset I forgot to shut the heater off. I got a little crack through the middle. But these were those new colors that I was playing with. And if I tip it a certain way, you can see that pink and gold in there. I love it. So I'm going to play around with this. I'm still going to save it. Um, with resin, you won't really see it because you really can't see it if you're looking at it there. So I don't think you would see it with resin either. And then we have Alan's monstrosity debacle. <laughs> debacle. They didn't come out bad. They dried really well, actually. But he's got his dip, swipe, puddle. I don't know. He's got some bare canvas here, though. But he can play with these, too. But they make a nice background for something else, for sure. So we'll give that a shot. So, guys, you grab me four. Hmm? Four big ones. Third shelf. Right there, babe, in front of you. Third shelf down. Oh. <coughs> I'm going to put a pad down because it's really shiny in that black screen. Yeah, Vic, that was the balloon. Yes, if you, ha like I have a heater out here, which is to the right of me. It's a ventilation and heater system. Um, I normally turn it down at night when I go in if I've got paintings drying because that airflow dries the top of the paint first and the underneath can't dry as fast and that's what causes it to crack. So... That's what happened. Not happy about it, but oh well. I can fix it. So, guys, we have tonight four new colors. 
This is our new spring line. I released early and then I ended up not going live last night. <laughs> so you didn't get to see him, but I'll make it up to you tonight, I promise. So this is our first one. These are all pearl metallics. Uh, this is more like a shimmer, but these three here are pearl metallic. They're absolutely gorgeous. And I'll show you something that I did with them. This is Susan's Heirloom Rose. It's a beautiful rosy color. I just love it. I just love it. Of course, we have a champagne shimmer. And this is my other favorite. This one we call Juniper. You can see where it's sat in the bottle a little bit. Um, you know, we shake them, they all get mixed up. It's not a big deal. But I'm in love with this color. And of course, our bluebird that I had showed you before. So I have these in bottles and jars available. They're on Etsy right now. They've been up for a week. But if you want to get them through me, you know the deal. Just email me and I'll get them right out to you. So I played with them. I did three tiles. Look at the shine. See it? They are so shiny. That's the juniper. This one has more of the bluebird in it. The bluebird is not as shiny, but it does have shimmer in it. Um, it's a blue we don't have, that's for sure. But the champagne plays really, really well and sells up really well. Okay, of course, this one. Very shiny. So we had an accident. Al Allen had an accident. So the tiles that we did last week, one of them broke. We'll show them to you anyway. That's the blue. Yeah. So this was the one that had an accident. The paint did not chip. So I probably could glue it and still put a resin coat on it and keep them for ourselves. So I may just do that because they're so pretty. They were the runoff from that painting that I did. Very woodsy. So these were sold, so now they're not. <laughs> no big deal, right? Accidents happen. It was my fault. I had them on the end. Alan bumped into them. So, Mr. Welch, are you ready? As you'll ever be. What about itty bitty spider in there? Not worried about itty bitty spider. Okay, have the bottle yet. Yeah, he's had two weeks, right, Bri? To think about what he's gonna paint. Well, after the debacle two weeks ago. So guys, I'm giving um, Ellie Belly Boo Bear a plastic bottle, so hopefully she won't make too much noise, but uh -huh. she's like tearing up my leg right now trying to get it. Stop now. You're just asking for it. She weighs 12 pounds already. She's almost full grown. But she's still tiny to me. Stop. It's coming. You and your bottles. All right, ready? Go over there. <laughs> Go over there where you're not so noisy. Can I go over there too? Sure. So Shelly said she gave you a good suggestion. 
Yeah, I saw it, Joe. Sorry, my head's been like totally different place. Ice cube's gone, huh? Huh? The ice cube is gone. Yeah, I'm gonna skip another ice cube. I think you were entertained longer. Okay, I got a 12 by 16 canvas. I can adjust that camera. You're still too far back. Don't move the cam canvas, I'll move the camera. Because then I won't have to stretch so far either. WD-40, silicone spray in the cups. Well, that's probably the camera that's crooked. <laughs> we need to get a different camera mount. Is that better? It's better, isn't it? Color choices. These are all Parage Posse paints. Shelly's Masquerade Shimmer. Coral Reef Metallic. Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Shimmer. Copper Penny. Watch the Carolina Blue Shimmer. Let's put this down. No, it's the autofocus. It's not that. Let me try to go for a little reprieve here. When you get in a funk, go simple. That's my suggestion. Go simple. Go Back simple. To Back to basics. <laughs> yeah, it's okay to experiment. Not so much on lives, though. Guys, keep your snow up there. <laughs> well, Western New York was supposed to get what? Eight to twelve? My mom said fourteen or more. It was supposed to start like at four o'clock today. When you're snowed in, paint, right? Just paint, paint, paint. Can't go anywhere, you might as well paint. 
unless you lose power. Still okay. faint. Have crappy weather, period. It's cold. I don't like it cold. Well, we got a watch tonight, too, because we got storm warnings for tonight here, too. Okay, also going to go with lamp black with silicone in it, and I'm just going to squirt this right down the center. Doesn't want to watch it, right? <laughs> Brian, I heard you're having a long day. I could make it longer. need that fourth cup. up those gaps in the center. And he is shaking his painting, by the way. It's not the camera. <laughs> it's not me either. Oh, that's not me making me dizzy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got two more little shimmies to go here. Get my paper towels out. 
Yes, because you're going to get messy. You think? Just a little. Just a little. That black did show up, didn't it? You like dark paintings, don't you? After last week's dippy thing with all the white, I think you're going to go dark this week. You want another one? Hi, Catherine. I'm okay with that black going off on that side. Yeah, I think you'll get some cells popping up through that too. I'll get it all stretched out. Hi, Steffi. Probably coral reef. Is that coral reef you have in there too? The other light color? Yes. Yes. That's yeah, I love coral reef and chocolate together. Just twelve by sixteen canvas. Just trying to stretch it out. Linda. I'm glad you like it. If you hear her chewing, it's an ice cube, guys. I have to entertain her. This is going to fold over a little, so I'm going to lose a little of that coral reef. I think when you stretch it back, it'll open back up. Really? Don't give me that look. She's going to. Huh? She's going to. I know. Come here, Ellie. Ellie. Come here. Oh, come here.
barking. Hey, my finger. That's what you get for going back there. Where did it go, Ellie? Just like him, a two-year-old. She lost her ice cube and I can't find it. I'll give you another one. Come here. Ah, she dropped one of my paintings. She knocked it over. Don't bite. Just touching the side where there's no paint on the canvas so that it'll flow a little easier off the edge. Stop chewing them. Oh, she's crazy, Linda. This is what happens after she eats. We figured it out. You can wet that melon and it'll slide over. Yep. I'm not too worried about losing that black. And one more side. Let's bring it back to the center line. Did you post it in the group, Vicki? Because that's, I think you should. And I do a Dutch pour. Well, I don't normally do them on Monday nights because I have to mix all the paint up special. Just take a little more excess paint off.
wonder if there's anything under that blue. Is that Carolina shimmer? The Carolina blue shimmer, yep. Nigerian cord, Brian. Never, never heard of it. some of that coral reef hiding underneath there. That might pop up a little more as it dries. Nothing came up through the black though, huh? Just a little a bit. A little. It'll still change as it's setting. Um, when I first started April, I used a heat gun, which you have to be really careful with a heat gun. Because I was afraid of using fire. <laughs> but now that I have a torch, I would never go back to a heat gun. And you want to pop those bubbles. You can slam it down like you do when you bake a cake, you know, to get the air bubbles to come to the top. Just pick it up and drop it. That helps, too. But I know um, Marcy from Mixed Media Girl, she does not use a torch. Uh-oh, Kathy's suffering. No. Yeah, we just use a little creme brulee torch. You don't have to have it on high. You can use one of those little torches that fits in your hand, like they have at the gas station to light cigarettes. You could use one of those little torches, too. Well, I got one extra cup of paint. Not to the drying rack with this one. Yeah, Mina's got a flamethrower. <laughs> yeah, they may suck, Brian, but you know, when you're first starting out painting, and you really are afraid of the torch, especially if you're painting inside your home. What should I use for canvas for that one? Just do some tiles. Put four tiles again and pour it all over the tiles. Okay. Quickly. I think like it's funny in this. Then off to the side. Definitely have enough paint. I like this right here. That's cool. I might want to pour some more in this one because you might not have enough to tilt on that one. Don't you start barking. Behave yourself. Let's go 
good. Don't want to let me do any mud with it. There, they're ready for you whenever you're done. Okay. That coral reef plays really well with those blues, doesn't it? It does. I don't want to use those leopard spots again. Can't remember yet. Leopard spots? Yeah. Just the wrong color leopard, though, those up real quick. extra heat just start bringing some more of that coral reef up.
I torch house paint. <laughs> Just very quickly though. And carefully. When I'm doing my blooms. See if we get anything that pops up through that blue. I'm starting to see a little of it come up right there. Now I get to clean up. Did you figure out what you're going to do? I have a couple things I have to do first. A couple things? Look, you put it the right way. <laughs> I'm learning. Come here. Got her? I got her. All right, here, say hello to everybody. Say hello. Up here, Alan. Right here. What's that got? Look. <laughs> She's getting so big. Look. She's so big. She's so big. <laughs> She's fun. And her hair is almost long enough for her bows. I put one in, but she got it out. All right. So, this weekend I had so many friends without power. And... Alan and I thought that maybe we should share our, a little secret we have. So, a couple years ago, we bought our first one, and I just bought another one. And I put this in my Amazon shop for you guys. They're called a Halo Bolt. It comes with the stuff to jumpstart your car. But we have one in the house and one in the car because it has a plug. So if your power goes out, you can plug a lamp in and you'll get six hours on this. But you can also charge your phones, your laptops, and all that fun stuff. So we have two of these. And believe me, we have used them, especially during hurricane season. So it's in my Amazon shop if you guys want to get one. And the other day I did the video on the notebook. It's nice and hard. I'm so pleased with this resin. So I'm going to be doing some more molding stuff with it. But that's going to go up in my Etsy shop. But for right now, 
we are going to do a giveaway. So you'll get four four ounce bottles of the new colors. <coughs> Sorry, Alan's writing a number down for me. Yes, everybody, make sure you're in live chat. So you don't uh, you don't miss you don't lag too much. So is everybody refreshed and ready? If I see a couple of yeses, then we'll get ready. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. There it is. Go back, go back, go back, go back with the scroll. Scroll back. Keep going. It's not gonna let you go back. Oh, oh my goodness. Give me. Well, we had a winner, and I probably won't be able to go back that far. There it, it is. is. Mo. I thought it was one before that, though. No, I think it's Mo. I think it's Mona. Yep, it's Mona. Congratulations, Mona. So many after that, too. Stop, guys. <coughs> the number was 17. So I have another set we'll do later. Oops, Mona. We'll get those out to her in the mail tomorrow. I'll grab a canvas. We'll do another one in a little while, guys. Because I wasn't here last week to give out one set, so we'll do two sets today. And we have another thing to give away today, so giveaway day. Hi, Nita. All right, so I want to play with those new colors, of course. I definitely want to play with the juniper and the champagne gold for this painting. Sit down, that way she'll stop. And I want that green. Find it. I don't know what they did with those. Bummer. Where did I put those? What you looking for? That dark green I mixed up last week. I also want to play with the um, alchemy dark forest with 
that juniper. This. What? The new colors are. The names of the new colors. So we have Susan's Heirloom Rose. Juniper Shimmer. Bluebird Shimmer. And Champagne Shimmer. They're all very, very shiny. So I think I will put some chocolate in there too. It's like I need one more. I wonder if the coral reef would go good with that. I'm going to put the snowy white in there because that's kind of a pearly color too. So they'll all kind of be shiny together. Let's go, let's just stay with that because I think if I put another contrast color in there, we're going to lose the greens that I want to show up. And I think I'm just going to do a big flip cut. So if I do a ribbon pour, then Alan just did a ribbon pour. I don't like to follow up with the same thing. Or we could do, let's do that. <clears throat> let's do an intermingling flip cup. All right, let me get these tops off and we will get to pouring. Uh, the Alchemy Dark Horse does not have silicone in it, so the other ones do. So we're going to start with the Snowy White. We'll get some lacing with that. And I think I'm going to put the Juniper right next to that. We'll follow it with the Dark Forest. I just love that color. We'll go champagne. And chocolate. Oh, get it? Champagne and chocolate. Where's your strawberries? You know I eat strawberries. These are little three ounce cups, so. Oh, maybe these are five. So I know I have plenty of paint. Guess what? We might be pulling some tiles. Do we have any left? <laughs> Time to start doing another box. Gotta get a hold of my uh, tile dealer. <laughs> Ellie, you know now, baby. All right, so. Flip them over. Usually I use paper cups when I do this, so this is going to be fun. I have to really put a hole in them. Yeah, the juniper is probably my favorite. Well, I don't know. I like the heirloom rose, too. And I really like the bluebird. And the champagne is beautiful. So, yeah, I don't have a favorite. I'm a blue girl, usually, though. I'm going to go ahead and pop my hole to let my suction out. I like to let it fill up a little bit and then I'm going to intermingle. Just let them glide across. Ellie, you have to be a very 
you're going to go in the house. And you're going to cry. I'm going to bring a little paint over that way. So I like to do this because then you don't have the definite line of three flip cups. Where they kind of... Uh, set together. This is really pretty. Yeah, this was a good color palette, guys. So if you don't have that dark forest green, Ellie's Evergreen from our paint line would probably work really well. It's a little greener. Let me just put a little dot on the canvas so you can see the difference. Weird. These the eraser woods in there. So it's a little greener, but it dries pretty dark. All right. Just let it set for a second, and then I'm going to go ahead and move it. I love the snowy white in there. Did some beautiful lace in here. It's just a quick torch, get a few bubbles. Did I kill it? No, it does need to be filled though, I think. Alright. So I want to get that green off, so we're going to go there first. So with a hexagon, I found an easier way to do these. Just do one at a time. Bring it back to the middle. Turn your canvas, do the next one. That way you're not losing um, your pattern as much. Until you get all your corners covered. Then you can tilt it some more, take paint off. And I'm a hard tilter, I tilt very fast. <laughs> Unlike Ellen. That's why you see my paint move much faster than his. I waste no time. So you have to be careful with white in that chocolate, though, because you do get that muddy look. Mm -hmm. These will make pretty tiles. We'll have to remember this color combo for tiles. Very neutral. So Brian and Shelly and Maria already have these colors. Kathy got them. I sold quite a few sets. I have not sold any off Etsy, so I don't think anybody knew that they were out yet. Because <laughs> I was not live Monday night. Ah! Ellie. Alright, so now I want to look at it for a minute to decide where I want to take some more paint off. Oh, that's right. Joy was the other one that got him. Okay. I think I'm going to come this way a little bit to see if I can open up that white some more. It's a very dark edge. I don't want to lose all that green because I think it's pretty, especially when it's dry. So a lot of times I'll buy paints just to see how the color is 
and try to develop my own for my line. So that Dark Forest was something I wanted to do for Ellie's Evergreen, but when I started making Ellie's color, I loved the green where I was at, so I stopped. So we may get another dark green in the line eventually. I don't know if I want to come this way. I got to get some more paint off because if I don't and I forget to shut the heater off, it's going to crack. And as cold as it is, I really don't want to shut the heater off. I can turn it down. All right. I come this way. Just balance it out just a little bit. Just rocking it down here. Okay. Now I can sort of back in. Too much paint. I could have done with a little bit less. For sure. But I am really loving these colors together for sure. All right, let me torch it. All the air bubbles. See one stubborn one right here. Make sure it's an air bubble and not a paint clump. <laughs> Pretty sure it's an air bubble because I don't see it now. There's one here. There, I'm good with that. like this little bit of white here on this edge. Kind of give it a little look. Get these out of here. It's too bad it's mucky or I'd pull a tile. Let me just see what it looks like. Yeah, that'd be too yucky. Too mucky. I call it mucky. It's like muddled colors. So I think what I'm going to do now, because we have 40 colors now, I think I'm just going to introduce a color here and there. And I have a couple that I want to discontinue because they don't sell well. And um, we'll go from there. So I'm going to do another giveaway. Alan's going to write another number down for me. But today, this video, or the yeah, this video today, this video. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> this 
This giveaway is for our, our February giveaways that I promised at the beginning of February for a vase. Let me grab it. I have number in hand. Make sure you guys are refreshed and in live chat. And this is our giveaway for this time. It's a very pretty face. Present coated, so all you have to do is just wash out the inside. Um, don't soak it. And I put the cork on the bottom so it won't stick to your furniture. But this is a pretty one. So is everyone ready? Thank you, Mona. Um, why is that so? What are you bringing me your toy for? I don't want your toy. Let me pull this back and see. Yeah, that's better. So at least you can see it. Whoops. You guys didn't see that, did you? <laughs> All right, so now you can see it. All right, guys. Yeah, it's pretty much that, Cheryl. <laughs> With little tiny doggy trees. All right, on your mark, get set, go. Guys, Kathy Carr is our winner. Come here, Kelly. The number was 14. That's Kath. too while everybody's in a numbering mood as soon as they're done guessing from the last one I love doing giveaways Cheryl So I'm going to have Alan give me another number, and this will be for the new set, the new colors. <laughs> oh, Mita. <laughs> So is everybody ready? We'll start this one and we'll be done with the giveaways for tonight. You're welcome, Kath. Okay, guys, on your mark, get set, go. Get ready to scroll up now. Oh, they're so fast. <laughs> Don't time yourself out, guys. 
enter slowly. There it is. Peppermint Paints. Peppermint Paints is our winner. I will need your shipping address. The number was 36. So please email me at christinawelchart at yahoo.com. I think the link is below in the description too. I wrote that on there, and we are ready for Alan to do his last painting of the night. So many. All right. I don't want to grab that bag in front of her because I'm just going to make her more treats. Yeah, that's a good one. So, what are you going to do? Okay. What do you think? Should I? Um, should I go with the floor? Well, I'm thinking paint-wise, because that's a 12 by 16. I had to use a pick. There's still a little gold in there, but I had to use a skewer and a paper towel. He's going to use it, Bri. I wouldn't um, use silicone in the paints. You're going to do that because it'll just take over. So all those paints on the bookshelf have no silicone. Make sure they go back on the bookshelf. So they don't get mixed in with the ones that have silicone. All the new colors are in that too. If you want to use like the uh, bluebird or whatever. What are you looking at me for? What do you want? I think, I don't know if I did or not. I might have added this to the Amazon shop, guys, but I got a cordless one. So now when I do my blooms, I can put that new attachment on it. And I have a cord behind me. And while Alan's pulling colors, Sunday is the great switcheroo part two that I was part of. My video will be up at 3.30. Um, it will be a premiere, so I'll be in there chatting. Uh, Canella is starting us off at 2.45 Eastern Time. So come and join. There's six of us. Uh, it's Canella Sirocco, Tammy Anderson, Saskia Smith, myself, Sandra Lett, and Marcy Farrell from Mixed Media Girl. 
So there's six of us. So come join the fun and just we just go to one channel to another. It will be so much fun. I'm so excited to show this painting to you guys. It, it's just, oh, Shelly has seen it and Brian has seen it. So I did show it to a few people. But I'm so excited to share. It's not something that I normally do. So you guys will love this video. I love it. <laughs> Take that one out and put that light amethyst in for a contrast. Right there, honey. Or the blue. Oh, the blue quartz is pretty. Stop it now. You're not doing that. You are not doing that. And why is your foot all blue? Is that from today? <laughs> it's just painting. Is her foot blue? No. no. That must have been from before. Oh, I just saw a pop run on the floor. It scared me. Where'd your bag go? Let's get it. Let's get it. Let Daddy paint. Color choices. Blue quartz from Poker. Galaxy blue shimmer. Keep her busy for about three minutes. Champagne shimmer. Juniper shimmer. And bluebird shimmer. I'll have to add it, Shell. Can't do it. Can't, can't do it. Why? Just can't do it. Are you too afraid? <laughs> Tell Brian. Oh, you have too many colors. That's why. Can't do it. Sorry, Brian. I haven't done enough research on it. Research? What on a split cup? With, with using the, with using the split cups. Oh. I just added it, Shell. It should be there now. Well, thank you, Cheryl. I'll watch for it. <laughs> he told you you suck, dude. <laughs> That's just me, Brian. I'm going to throw you in the pool. Brian, you don't want me to make make it look bad or anything. <laughs> we are going to have so much fun at the beach. <laughs> we have to shoot a lot of videos, though. Thank you, Shell. So Shelly just posted the link for that cordless drop blower if you guys want to get it. And there's a reason that I bought that while well, he's putting his paint in the cup, and I'll tell you why. Because on this video that you'll see Sunday, I wanted to use my orange one, but my cord wasn't long enough, so I kind of was a little dumbfounded, and, and you guys might notice it in the video where I, like, put something away, went to go grab this. I know it's where it's at in the video, so I will kind of draw your attention to it maybe in the premiere and say, well, here it comes. <laughs> so I ordered this and got this in, thank God. Might need one more cup. Oh, I will, Cheryl. I have three things to film with, so I have my phone, my tablet, my laptop webcam, so. Um, it's $14.99 on Amazon. 
that's with free shipping too. So. I hope so. <laughs> I'm doing three shifts of painting with six people on each shift. So I'm hoping that I can film, you know, while they're all painting and do like a video for each session um, each day. Just so everybody that can't go on the retreat can see how much fun we're having. Then maybe that maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> but it, you get to see how, you know, we get to know each other and how we laugh together and you get to see other people paint that they don't have a YouTube channel. It will be fun. Okay. I'm not going to do an intermingle. Right has a care about the baseball. <laughs> um, at the Outer Banks, Deanne, we've rented a beach house that we've stayed at before, so I know this house really well. I thought about buying a GoPro with a head mount, so you see it from my perspective. Candy from Tennessee, Wampa. Did you use a white now or no? I used a white right down the center. Oh, I'm sorry. I was Silicone in any of those, no. Nope, and the white was well, no silicone too. Okay. Juniper Cecilia, it is a beautiful color. I wouldn't mind a while that color. Brian's in the bracket. Uh, yeah, Kathy, he's using the Bluebird and the Juniper, and then the rest are from our paint line, except for the folk art. The folk art one. Blue quartz. Nights are now. Speedy recovery, honey. <coughs> I have nothing 
else for you. So that champagne will also sell out before you go. Metallics love to sell out when you put, um, actually everything you use though had shimmer in it, so it's going to be pretty neat. You didn't have anything except the white that was okay. Hi, Julie. Welcome. I might want to play with that color palette. That's pretty. You're more than welcome. Let's see, I still got quite a bit of paint on there. Hold your breath, Alan. You're not talking at all. <laughs> I am. Breathe, babe, breathe. Uh, Maria might be without power. She's in the middle of a storm. She didn't have power for a while yesterday. Oh. Ellie, no. Jenny's painting. You can put that touch in and it's done. Okay. Okay. No, no silicone in these. Good night, Tammy. Uh, yes, this is canvas, stretch canvas. Oh, you have a lot of paint on there. Do. You're going to get wonky doing that. You're going to have to go one way or the other. Just don't tip back and forth like that. You're losing your champagne, aren't you? Is it sinking? Mm, not too much. Bring that back up to that middle island before you head down. So you don't need to get rid of that wonk. Look at that wonk. Well, 
or you can tilt it right off that corner and it's still in play. This corner? Right. I can't see. Here? Yeah. Go straight down and like put the whole canvas down. So some of that dark blue goes off too. I like that dark blue. Pipe down, Brian. <laughs> You're out of camera. Sorry about that. It's a little too much paint. He sure is, Linda. <laughs> Acrylic pouring is very fun and it's very good for stress. It is? Yes. Isn't it? Don't you think? Or is it too stressful for you? <laughs> is it stressful, Alan, for you? Yeah. I like that you put that line in there like that. But... Yeah, sand good for depression, for sure. Beautiful colors now. Check my edges. Do you want to try using these colors yeah, on I yours? Think so. I think I do. Yeah, I do. You'll love them, Julie. I promise you'll love them. And they're like potato chips. You just keep having to get another one and another one and another one. What are you talking about? Our paint colors. Oh. <laughs> Not puppies. No. You thought I was talking about puppies, didn't you? Okay. To the drying rack. I really like what happened through here. There's no silicone. I don't understand where you got all those cells from. It had to be the champagne. Yeah, it was the bubbly. Uh, Karen, I have them on Etsy, but I also sell them um, through my email at christinawelchart at yahoo.com. Shelly will post those links for you. So do you want the same colors? Huh? I do. I want to, I want to do okay, good one. Colors are very pretty together. That blue quartz looks great in there. Uh, 
Uh, did you see the question from E. Ayers? Do you have a make it workshop? A what? A make it workshop? Um, I do Zoom lessons right now. I because I do a lot of um, I can't do any in house workshops. But um, if you ever want to do a Zoom lesson with me, just email me, and I'll give you the specifics. Because I will sit with you while you mix paint to get the right consistency, and we'll do a painting together. And but if you look on my channel, I have tons of tutorials. I have a whole playlist of tutorials. I take you right from buying supplies to shipping. So everything's there. If you want to learn more, you can always do a, a lesson. The good thing about that is it's just your time that you're investing. Yeah. I love doing hands-on workshops. Um, getting to meet people, you know, and watch how they stir, <laughs> you know, make some corrections for them that they didn't know they were doing wrong. And it's like, oh, that's what I was doing wrong, you know. So. We are in North Carolina. But with COVID, I haven't been able to have anybody come over, which bites because I, I love being around people. So, this is enough paint to cover that canvas. Let's do, use no silicone white, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you put it between any colors? I put it right down the center. Oh, okay. Is this the order you went in? It is. Where did you start with? The yellow and blue. Okay. So I'm going to use the same palette that Alan did, but I'm going to do a different type of core. This folk art blue quartz is a beautiful color. And that is in the treasure line. I wanted to make that color, but I have so many blues now. <laughs> the bluebird was here before I got that, so oops. I'm not sure what she's into, Alan. But I'm sure it's not good. <laughs> it's a scrubby. Oh, don't let her chew it though. No, she wants my bottle now. Yeah, she wants your bottle. It's going to make too much noise. Uh, we're not training. We're scrubbing for the bottle. All right, so I've got, what, three layers in there? I just love this blue bird. It's such a pretty blue. The other day, I was sitting at my desk, and a blue bird landed on my tree outside, and I'm like, yep, that's the color. <laughs> So he shot white down through. I'm going to do the same thing. Julie wants to know is the blue quartz a shimmer? Uh, this is a metallic from the treasure line, Folk Art Treasure Line. It's a, um, it's, it's going to be like these that, uh, can you grab me that tile? One of the tiles from the new colors. I'll show you, Julie, what, what, uh, how it dries. It dries like the juniper, so when I tilt this, you 
see how metallic -y that is? That's how this blue quartz dries like that. And next week when we show these, you'll see it too, probably. All right, I'm gonna do a ring pour. Not sure I'm gonna leave it a ring. I may wreck it, let's see. That blue quartz is really in there. I love that champagne next to that juniper when he did his canvas. the drip off. Now I'm just going to blend. Uh-uh. She can't have that. Oh my God. She can't have that. I'll let you put her in the house. <laughs> Should I wreck it? Let's rack it. I'm going to finger rack it. I'm not going to tool rack it. I'm going to get a little fancy with my rack. She's crying now because we put her in the house. <laughs> And there she goes. All right. Because I know I've done, I'm not digging this right here, so I'm probably going to pour some of that off. All right, let's tilt it. The cup is so pretty. All right, I should have enough paint on here to play. I'm not taking it off the edge yet because I want to stretch it out first. Guess we're gonna get some rolling over. So I'm very excited about Sunday, guys. I've had this video done for what? Almost three weeks now, Al? Yeah. It's like I'm just dying to put it up. But I did it really quick when we decided to do the switcheroo because I've been working on my taxes and I'm almost done with those. I take a day off here and there so I don't get overwhelmed, but. All right, I'm gonna hit the sedge quickly. Bring my paint back to the middle. Come over this way. Ellie Belly Boo Bear, are you being good? No. Okay. So I'm definitely not wanting to lose all this blue here. 
because that's that blue quartz, so it's going to be really shiny when it dries. The juniper is still there, so I haven't lost that. I'm trying not to lose the champagne either. Once I'm over all my edges, then I'll decide where I want to go from there. So now if I would have just like rolled this around all the way around the edges, I would have gotten a swirl effect, which you can do. It comes out pretty cool. Um, but that's not what I was going for on this one. Round canvases are fun to play on. I think the favorite, my favorite thing to do with a round canvas is spit it out. <laughs> No. She's jumping on me. She's like, pay attention to me, Mom. Stop talking to the air. She doesn't know that we're filming. <laughs> oh, I have such a long way to go on this one. I think I'm going to cheat. So I don't want to lose that. All right. Let me look at it for a minute. Let me torch the bubbles out while I'm watching it. See, now I didn't get a bunch of cells. Isn't that weird how you did and I didn't? Did you use the white? I used the no silicone white. It's the way you layered your cup. Although I did the same, but I didn't, um, I ring poured it. I didn't flip it. So I didn't have the densities like you did. Oh, I'm so indecisive right here. But I love that champagne coming in. Mm. I was going to pull something, but I decided not to. I pulled it right back. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it. Great color palette, Alan. Next week we should do I pick your color palette and you pick mine. <laughs> well, you know, we could pick our colors way before we go live. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm sure you do. All right, let me show you up close. The rings are beautiful. That's probably my favorite spot right there. But I also love how the juniper played with the champagne over here. There's, it's like a neon light kind of around that champagne. It's so pretty. And you guys really can't see it on the camera like I can. I didn't want to tilt that off because then I would have lost that. It's pretty. So guys, that's it for tonight. We are four and done. Oh, I can show you how that dries on the cap. See how shiny it is? That's that blue quartz. Definitely going to have to make that color. <laughs> All right. Basically, you had enough blues. 
I still have two blues I want to do yet and two more purples and one more green and another pink. We didn't use the heirloom rose tonight, did we? Hmm. Next week. So thanks so much for joining us tonight, guys. We had eight more minutes, but we did, we played time wisely tonight. We did well. Three giveaways and four paintings and tiles. I appreciate every single one of you. If you want to get paints, if you don't want to email me, you can get them through Etsy. Um, if you buy 35, you get free shipping or you can order them from me. Uh, just send me an email. Um, I'm going to do a video where I brush out every color over white and black. So you can see how they look over different colors. It shows the opacity and the transparency of every color. It's easier for me to do that than to just use them and then try to explain. So if I do that with a brush, you'll see it better. I'm also going to do a video where you're going to comment your questions and Alan and I are going to do a Q&A. You can ask questions like how we met, how long he's been painting, where we're from, whatever. We will answer questions for you, but we also want to focus on art questions. So we're going to be doing that. And don't forget Sunday, guys. 245 is Canilla, and then you bounce from Canilla to Tammy to Saskia to me, and mine's at 330. And yes, I'm going to do a cream puff video. I got my heavy whipping cream, so I will be doing that. I might be able to get that done this week. Because I have, I have a son here to film me. So I love you guys. I will see you next Monday. I'm going to try to get some videos up this week, too. So if you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Leave them down in the comments or email me. And um, can't wait to see you guys Sunday at the premiere of The Great Switcheroo Part 2. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Have a great evening. Bye now.